friend who's Miss Parkin. Let's get started. I have a positive attitude. I'm responsible, have integrity. I'm dedicated and exceed expectations. I have Jack Rabbit pride. Yeah. I have Jack Rabbit pride. Yeah. I have Jack Rabbit pride. Yeah. I have a positive attitude. I'm responsible, have integrity. I'm dedicated and exceed expectations. I have Jack Rabbit pride. Yeah. Let's continue with our story. So yesterday, we left off with Jumper doing his jumps right outside Swimmer's Bunny Burrow because all around Swimmer's Bunny Burrow, his home, there was water because the pond had flooded. So they couldn't get anywhere outside of the Bunny Burrow. So Jumper was right outside the Bunny Burrow getting his jumps in and trying to become a better jumper. And Swimmer was told by his mom that he's not allowed to swim because when there's flood water around, usually different animals come with that flood water that can eat little jackrabbits like Swimmer. So Swimmer was bummed that he wasn't allowed to go swimming in this really big, 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 huge flood pond. That would be a dream, huh? But Skipper tried to make him feel better by saying, hey, you know what? We're going to actually do some reading because there's like some books on the bookshelf. We're going to learn to read and read awesome. And so Skipper and Swimmer read for most of the day. Skipper really enjoyed it. And Swimmer, he got a bit better at reading himself. Whenever there were some difficult words he had a hard time figuring out, Skipper would explain them to him. And Skipper, by the time it was the end of the day, Skipper had pretty much read at least half of the books on the bookshelf. And Skipper was one of those jackrabbits that he was really good at remembering different stuff that he read. So Swimmer would be like, man, I think my favorite book out of all of these, I think it's still the fish book about like swimming fish. And Skipper would go, hey, do you know that blowfish, they actually inhale water in order to make themselves look better? Uh, and like, not better, but like bigger. And they have like pointy spikes that have like poison to keep away from the predators. And Swimmer was like, yeah, I remember that. Thanks, Skipper. Skipper was like, "Yeah, you want to hear about the clownfish? No, no, that's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go check on Jumper, see how he's doing." And so Swimmer went outside, check on Jumper, and he was sitting on the ground right outside the bunny burrow, looking kind of sad. And Swimmer sat next to him and said, hey, Jumper, what's wrong? Did, did, did you hurt yourself when you were practicing your jumps? He's like, no, I did all my jumps. I did like 200 jumps. And then I was bored. And so I did like 200 more jumps. And then I was still bored. So I did 200 more jumps. And I'm just like, now I'm like tired. But like, I'm like, don't want to be stuck in one place. I want to go like jump like around the whole valley, but like I can't because like there's water and I hate getting wet. And Swimmer was like, man, that's kind of hard. He's like, you know, I kind of feel the same way. And Jumper was like, no, you don't. Like you're not a good jumper. Like I'm the better jumper. And like jumpers are the best when they get to jump around everywhere. And like you, you don't jump very well. Hey, remember what we talked about of like being nice? Um, sorry, I was thought I was being honest. I mean, don't you think I'm like the better jumper? Yes, you're the better jumper out of both of us. But if it came to swimming, I totally beat you on that. Fine, I don't like want to know how to swim anyway. 
But I mean, like, you have like all this water. Like, you could swim as much as you want. You don't know what it's like to have to like stay still and be like stranded and not have not be able to do anything fun. So I was like, actually, my mom said I can't swim in the water. Why not? Like, it's like super big and like there's so much water. Like, this must be like the best time to like ever swim for you. It's like if one day I woke up and I had springs on the bottom of my feet so that every time I jumped, I would jump a full six feet higher. It would be so awesome. So like, like you have like all this water now, like more water than normal. Like you must love this. I know, but my mom said that, you know, when there's all this water around, flood water, that there's animals in the water that can eat jackrabbits. That's why it's better to just not like water. Well, I still like water, but honestly, it's really hard for me too, because every day, I would go to the pond and I would swim, even on like rainy days. But like this is the first day in a long time I've never been able to swim. And I know mom just wants me to be safe. And I know it's important to listen and not go swimming in these dangerous waters, but it's just still hard to be stuck and not be able to do the thing you love. And Jumbo was like, man, I never thought of it that way. Well, you know what? Forever how long we're here, I'm here with you. Or, well, we kind of have to be here with you because we're all stuck here. <sighs> Will it ever get better? So was like, I don't know. So, will it get better? We'll find out next week. Let's end with our jackrabbit chant. There we go. We are jackrabbits. We show our pride at the end of the day. We know we've tried. Believe we can achieve. We'll reach any dream. We are jackrabbits. We are a team. Woo! One school, one team. One school, one team. Bye, friends. See you next week. Love you.